ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதே வாயா ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதே வாயா ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதே வாயா ஓம் அஜானதி மிராந்தஸ்யானாஞ்சனசலாக்கச்சுரன்மிலிதமேன தஸ்மை ஸ்ரீகுரவே நம நமோ விஷ்ணுபாதாய கிருஷ்ண பிரேஷாய பூத்தலை ஸ்ரீமதி பக்தி வேதாந்தஸ்வாமினி நமினி நமஸ்தே சாரஸ்வதி தேவே கௌரவாணி பிரச்சாரிணி நிர்விசேஷாசூன்யவாதி பாஷாத்தியதேஷதாரிணி ஜெய் ஸ்ரீ கிருஷ்ண சைத்தன்ய பிரபு நித்தியானந்த ஸ்ரீஅத்வைதாதர சிவா சாலி கௌரபக்தவந்த ஹரே கிருஷ்ண ஹரே கிருஷ்ண 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 ஹரே 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 ராம ஹரே ராம 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 ஹரே 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 கிருஷ்ண டுடே வி கோ டிஸ்கஸ் சாப்டர் டூ வர்சஸ் நைன் த்ரூ வர்ஸ் நைன் சஞ்சயுவாச்ச ஏவமுக்ஷிகேஷம் குடாகேஷப்பரந்தப நோத்சைத்தி கோவிந்தம் உக்வா தூஷ்ணிம் பபூவ சஞ்சய செட் ஹேவிங் ஸ்போக்கன் தஸ் அர்ஜுன சாஸ்டைசர் ஆஃப் எனிமீஸ் டோட் கிருஷ்ணா கோவிந்த ஐ ஷெல் நாட் ஃபைட் அண்ட் ஃபெல் சைலண்ட் ஸோ இந்த பர்போர்ட் ஷீல பிரபாத் சேஸ் தட் on hearing arjuna saying that he is not going to fight dhritarashtra must have been very happy but then sanjaya disappointed him by using by calling arjuna parantapa because each and every name uh, has a meaning and used appropriately uh, it indicates uh, you know it gives a certain meaning and here parantapa means one who kills his enemies so sanjay is disappointing dhritarashtra by saying no no he just said he is no, he is not going to fight but he is killer of enemies how is it that he is uh, going to kill enemies if he is now saying that he is not going to fight because he surrendered to krishna the supreme spiritual master even though he is overwhelmed because of family affection at for the time being because he surrendered to the supreme spiritual master krishna he would soon be free from all false lamentation so all the agnana is going to go because he is going to be now enlightened with perfect knowledge of self realization so that's going to start with atma gnana from verse 12 so and of course we know that at the end arjuna says karishya vachanam tava so yeah so temporarily uh, he was over over well uh, this is something you know applicable to all devotees as well because many a times we uh, you know we struggle with our fight against maya and sometimes we might become disheartened we might become overwhelmed uh, like you know actually in fact arjuna again uh, in bhagavatam when krishna leaves this uh, material world Uh, leaves our vision then arjuna laments so much he laments so beautiful verses you know one should read to understand the feeling that arjuna had uh, for his dear friend and the supreme lord shri krishna so again he says no i thought you know this knowledge was forgotten but now constant thinking about these instructions now i am revived i have now come back to my usual position so bhagavad gita is uh you, you know uh, something that one should be reading every day throughout our life because it's so important um that it is the basic foundation of uh, spiritual knowledge uh, so you know we should also be referring to bhagavad gita have our own notes etc so whenever we are uh, you know we are low or we are having some challenges in our bhakti in our material life etc we should refer to these instructions and Uh, become enthusiastic about uh, continuing with our sadhana irrespective of the material situation verse 10 tamuvacha rishikesha prahasanniva bharata senayoru bhayor madhye vishidantam idam vachah o descendant of bharata at that time krishna smiling in the midst of both the armies spoke the following words to the grief stricken arjuna so krishna is smiling so propad says that uh, why is he smiling because this talk was going on between two intimate friends one was rishikesha the other was gudakesha uh, rishikesha is the master of all the senses and gudakesha is one who had conquered sleep so these are not ordinary individuals but they were speaking like friends so as friends both of them were on the same level but now one of them voluntarily became a student so he surrendered to the other so krishna is smiling that you know his friend now had chosen him to become his guru Hmm. see krishna is achuta so in whatever position the devotee wants him 
he will oblige right so he can be a friend son lover now he wants arjuna wants him to be, become a guru so he at once accepts that position and he talks like a guru should talk prabhu prabhupada Prabhu is saying in the purport that it ha- it has to be grave the con- the talk between the guru and the disciple has to be grave hmm? and of course this bhagavad gita was openly exchanged and so it is open to all uh, those who surrender who have faith in krishna in um, words of bhagavad gita they can enter into the mystery of bhagavad gita and of course it has to be heard in disciplic succession from uh, the mouth of a pure devotee and that is what we are doing by reading purports from shila prabhupad verse 11 shri bhagwan uvacha asochanan vasochastvam pragna vadamshta bhashase gata suna gata sumscha nanu sochanti pandita supreme personality of god it said shri bhagwan uvacha while speaking learned words you are mourning for what is not worthy of grief those who are wise lament neither for the living nor for the dead hmm? asochyan that should not be lamented about hmm? anvasocha you are lamenting pragna vadan you are acting like a very pandit big learned person hmm? you are speaking like a big learned person but you are lamenting for something that you should not be lamenting about why because panditah so like you are talking like a pandita but a pandita doesn't lament either for the living or for the dead so here the lord at once starts chastising arjuna you surrender to me no no okay this is where i start why are you acting why are you acting like a cheater you are a fool but you are acting like a learned man but you really don't have the real knowledge what is real knowledge real knowledge means what is a body what is a soul and so matter spirit and the controller of both which is a super soul now this is real knowledge so if you don't have real knowledge why are you just acting like you have and you are cheating and this is a big problem in today's uh, you know kaliyuga where there are so many self proclaimed teachers and people you know there are videos conversations lectures etc online and people have the audacity to say that they are self made guru that they don't have a guru they don't have a parampara they are the beginning of a parampara and we talk about supremely exalted personalities like brahma shiva lakshmi and kumaras to be originators of our parampara vaishnava paramparas and now in kaliyuga you know so many unqualified people are calling themselves guru and they're giving knowledge and people are just accepting it blindly like they do in schools and colleges accepting whatever nonsense our scientists give without questioning and they similarly receive uh, so called spiritual knowledge so krishna is chastising don't cheat others why are you cheating others by acting like a learned man though you are actually speaking like a fool now arjuna says no no actually uh, krishna religious principle should be given more important than politics or sociology Hmm. but we know what lord says sarva dharman parityajyam amekam sharanam raja sarmad sarva dharman so whether you want politics sociology whatever anything all kinds of dharma all kinds of beliefs everything you should give up and surrender only, only to me so which means that knowledge which is going to take us to krishna is the most important one and because he was lacking in that knowledge he should not have posed as a very learned man now because he did not have the knowledge he was also lamenting this is why chaitanya mahaprabhu said that you know we should we should first act before we can preach right we should not simply preach things that we are not actually ourselves following so here because he was simply speaking and really did not uh, it was uh, he, so he was lamenting he had not really understood what he was speaking so if he was so learned he should not have been lamenting about this you know killing his kinsmen etc and propa says body is born and is destined to be vanquished today or tomorrow therefore body is not as important as the soul this is such a powerful statement that the whole world is running behind the thought process that body is so important 
And Prabhupada so simply in one statement, he just says, body is not as important as the soul. And one who knows this is actually learned and he does not lament for the material body. Now, when in the verse it says, neither for the living nor the dead, that means that, you know, whether whether that, uh, because the soul is eternal, now there is no birth or death for the soul. So the body will take birth and it die, it will die. So what is the point in lamenting? So one who is in knowledge, one who knows, the, has this knowledge of body and soul, which now Krishna is going to start speaking from verse 12, one who knows that should not lament for these bodily uh, you know, changes and specifically with respect to the final change called death because that is inevitable and the soul is eternal. Hmm? So with this actually um, Krishna is uh, going to start the Atma Gnana. So we are going to hear that tomorrow. And uh, we'll take it forward from there. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada, Ki Jai, Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Ki Jai, Hare Krishna.